How's it going everyone? My name's Common Vault Boy, and today I have a bunch of mods to show you guys. So without further ado, let's get into it. First off, we have Batman by Tenebris, and this is going to be adding the bat suit from Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. But that's not all. We have Batman Beyond by the same mod author, and this is also going to be including the Batman Beyond armor, the Batgirl suit, and the Arkham Knight suit. Alright everyone, so to get the Bat Family outfits, you're going to want to head over to a chemistry station. So if you want to get the Batgirl and the Batman Beyond outfit, you're going to want to go into the Advanced Wayne Tech section. If you want to get the Arkham Knight and the Red Hood, you're going to want to head over to the Arkham Tech section. And if you want to get the Batman vs Superman outfit, you're going to go all the way down to Wayne Tech. Now I've already made the suits and I'm going to show off three of them to you now. So here is the Batman vs Superman outfit and I have to say this looks really nice. The only really problem I have had with it is that it kind of uh, messes with the Pip-Boy a little bit. Like you can see a little bit of the black cloth on the screen but it's not really a big deal. Here is the Arkham Knight outfit. I've never really played the Batman Arkham series. I've heard it's good but I've never really gotten into it. But apparently this is the Arkham Knight. I don't remember this being a Batman anything. Now here is one I remember. It is the Red Hood. It kind of looks a little bit more like modern tech. But apparently I guess you put this one on top of the Arkham Knight outfit and uh, just replace the helmet. And uh, you get the Red Hood version. So here it is. <laughs> So I'm going to be having R4 demonstrate the Batgirl outfit, being that she is a female, and uh, I'm pretty sure males cannot wear this outfit. But um, yeah, here it is. I really like the way it looks. The only thing I really don't like about it is the hair in the back. I mean, you can change between the uh, hairless cowl and the hair cowl, but I do think the hair cowl looks better than the uh, hairless cowl. But I don't like the hair. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. Up next we have Throwing Weapons Restored by TrainWiz, and this is going to be adding 6 new throwing weapons. Alright everyone, so to make the throwable items, you're going to want to head over to the chemistry station again. Making and bacon. Yep. Go all the way down to utilities, and it should be like all the way towards the bottom. Now as you can see, we have the harpoon variant, the throwing blade, and the buzzsaw. <laughs> now, the buzzsaws with combined with this Batman mod really makes it feel like you're throwing batterings and it's really nice. So I'm gonna make a few of these and uh, actually see what they do. Alright so as you can see R4 is out there in the distance and uh, we're gonna be throwing some explosive harpoons at her and some buzz saws. But I think we're gonna start with the buzz saws first because I want to see if these things will actually look like batterings now. R4 just hold still. <laughs> That's awesome. Alright, it kind of just throws itself a little bit down and angled. So you gotta like... Ah. Ooh, headshot. Alright, R4, did you... Was that okay? Was that... Oh, shit! <gasps> they actually stick in the ground? Oh, that's really cool. What the hell? Oh, that's awesome. That's fucking awesome! Okay, all right, shit. Let's try out the uh, the the explosive harpoons. <laughs> Sorry about this, R4. <laughs> Just throwing shit at her. Oh my god! So it's like a fucking frag grenade, but like contact. I am terrible. Bad hitter. <laughs> right in the gully. Oh shit! There's a blowfly. <gasps> Real enemies. All right, we're gonna use a buzz saw against it. Cause I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Oh, I'm Batman. Oh, I missed. <laughs> not so Batman. I'm not so Batman. How are you still flying? I'm Batman. Come on. There we go. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Keep throwing batter eggs. <laughs> no. You gotta throw them. Stop punching, Batman. Stop. Oh my god. This is how Batman lost the fight in the movie. He just kept missing his batterings. Oh my god, I'm so bad. 
Alright, we're gonna use the harpoon. There we go. Alright, I wanted to see if they were affected by gravity, so I'm gonna throw one straight up and see what happens to it. And... Okay, it disappeared. So I'm guessing it can only stay in the air for so long before it kind of just disappears. Will it hit the sign? Yeah, see, it didn't make it. Come on, you can make it. Come on. There we go. There we go. No, I missed. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next mod. Up next, we have the Dando, a giant Chinese two-handed sword by Mike Moore. I do not know if I said that right. I probably didn't, but this is a giant ass looking sword and I'm so excited to take a look at this. All right, everyone. So we are in Diamond City and that is because you can find the Dadao on vendors and like raiders and super mutants and all that. It's on the enemy loophole and it's in the uh, the vendor loophole. So I did find this, uh, this sword. <laughs> I really don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know if I'm saying it right and if I'm fucking sounding like an idiot. But here is the weapon. It looks really stinking cool. I'm going to give you guys a quick turnaround on this. This is awesome. It's like a freaking great sword. And I know there are some attachments to it, so I might go attach some new stuff to it and then uh, come back and show you what it looks like. So I've added the heated modification to it, and I don't know if you guys can tell, but there is like this little plasma -y glow at the very like edge of the blade here um you might be able to see it a little bit better like this look at that that is mm, mm, that's some good stuff right there i can cook up some meat as i fucking kill it you want one too on four all right i'll look i'll look out there for one for you okay okay all right let's move on to the next mod up next we have westing park player settlement by mods and this is going to add a miniature like carnival or amusement park that you can actually build in as a settlement all right everyone so we are at westing park and i am so excited for this when i saw this i just had to download it because i thought this is basically like your very own personal nuka world so uh let me show you guys the location on the map we are like in this little river section uh the closest area to us is the wrvr broadcast station the coast guard pier and the electronic hobbyist club all right, let's explore, shall we? Hey, no such thing as junk in the Commonwealth. Especially in a, an amusement park. All right, let's take a look at this note. Westing Park, where fun never quits. Open daily, except Sunday. We, we don't open Sunday. <laughs> Forthcoming special events. Minutemen March, 4th of March. Oh, get it? <laughs> <laughs> Orienteering event. Complete a quest with Mr. Garvey. Jester Day, 1st of April. Let out your inner child. A day of clowns, pranks, and jokes. Heritage Day, 12th of June. Celebrating Coach Westing and CR baseball team relics. Automatron Madness, the 31st of July. Classic cars and vertebrate rides sponsored by Rider Rentals. Sweet. Oh shit, there's more. West Feast, the 29th through the 31st of August. Music, food, and games in association with the uh, Adam Cats. The Witch Festival, October 13th. Spooky going around the park. Commonwealth Christmas Cracker, 22nd of December. Meet Super Mutant Santa. <laughs> Free gifts for kids. Oh, nice. Thank you for visiting and have a great day. Please keep your personal belongings with you at all times. Westing Park cannot be held responsible for accidents, injury, or theft. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Huh, I wonder if this is using the uh, Nuka World... Nuka World assets. It might be. So you might need Nuka World for this. That might be a bummer for some people, but Nuka World's a good DLC, so if you haven't downloaded that, you really should. Alright, so we got more flyers. <gasps> we got people! How you doing, huh? lady? Huh? <clears throat> oh, yeah. you look nice. You look prettier than all the other ladies, right? Yes. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Why is there a safe floating again? 
Oh, it's this right over here. Did you turn this on, kid? Kid, did you turn this on? This is really fucking loud. Kid. Kid, this is really loud. <laughs> turn it down. No, turn it, turn it off. This says silent. Fuck. Alright, well... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll come back when that's kind of off. So I found out who was uh, turning on all the rides and making that music play. It was this little girl right here. She just runs around and turns on all the rides. Look, she's gonna turn this one on. Look. Look at this little girl. And there's gonna be some loud ass music playing. Turn it on. Exactly. Yeah, okay. <laughs> let's uh, let's look around. Jesus Christ, that's fucking loud. Alright, I don't want to put you guys through that. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll figure out something. Maybe I'll wait till nighttime when she's asleep. Alright, so uh, I didn't really want to wait till nighttime because it really does look nice during the day. So I did the next best thing. I kind of just walled her off. You're not going anywhere, Jenny. Fucking Jenny. <laughs> Alright, so let's take a look around this little carnival place. <gasps> A little pet Myrlurk. Meet Nippy, the fearsome Myrlurk, captured and tamed by our very own Ellie Westing. Don't worry, boys and girls, he won't bite, but he might nip your neck off. <laughs> oh man, you guys can't see it, but I have this big ass grin on my face because this is so exciting. Oh, this is awesome. You can build here. Just, oh, yes, you can build here. Let's keep exploring. Oh, we got a little, got a little holotape. Bob's log. Oh god, why is my people going crazy? Oh, because of the flashlight. All right, Bob's log. Log one. Found me a nice old place to hold down for a few nights. Seen some bilurk legs here and there, but if I keep my head down, I don't think I'll disturb anyone. Thing. Bob. Log two. A smooth skin turned up today. Turns out this old place belongs to some West End family. Says she wasn't looking for no trouble, but she wanted to clear this place up. Maybe even give me a home. Can't say no to that. Bob. Log three. I've been helping fix this place up. Took a few months to get the site cleared. Now, Westing is talking about turning this place into a fancy schmancy amusement park. Well, I don't know about that, but I don't mind making a few caps on the side. I don't really have any plans of my own. Perhaps, uh, that's something I need to change. Bye. Log four. Deleted. <gasps> Bob got some secrets. Note to self, don't leave holotape lying around. Oh shit. Log five. Damn, kid keeps calling me ghoulie. Bob. Westing says she wants to look after her. Well, I guess I don't have a choice in the matter. After Jerry passed away, I think it makes sense for Westing to have someone to focus on. I'm going to keep my head down. I had an idea for a new ride here. There's something, a few places nearby I can get the right materials. Ghoulie Bob. <laughs> All right, so it looks like uh, there's a ghoul here. I wonder if he's like actually here or if like it just says he's here. We got a, we got a guy named Ghoulie around here or Bob. I'm gonna call him Bob because it looked like he got pissed off when that little girl called him Ghoulie. Oh, we got... Can we build over here? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, okay, so it looks like, uh... Just like at Sanctuary, how they have these, like, little, uh... Um, foundation areas, you can kind of make it the same, too. That's nice. You can build all the way out here, too. <gasps> this is so nice. Alright, I, I kind of got a little bit sidetracked. Started deleting some, like, debris and stuff, but... 
getting back to uh, exploring, I really want to take a look at this uh, Ferris wheel. All right, all right, we're gonna click it and get on. <laughs> no fucking way. That's funny. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh man. Oh, why is there a floating cooler? <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at this cooler. Oh, signed baseball card. Huh. So this might have replaced that one area where that guy from Diamond City asked you to get all those collectible baseball relics quotation marks around relic so uh, I guess be aware of that kind of want to click those buttons but I kind of want to look over here first Your mattress. What? got a scrabbled up note don't forget the Westing motto quitting is for punks are you a punk a punk who's gonna quit? Well, are ya? Are ya? Cause it ain't no quitting time yet, punk. That might be from something, and I don't get the reference. I'm sorry. Alright, so we got some materials in there. I kinda heard some people talking. Say hi to old man Stockton for me. Although, truth is. She's gonna go ride the rides. Alright, I'll let her, I'll let her do her thing. What are you guys doing? You guys just chilling over here? What's uh, up, man? <clears throat> of all the campfires in all the Commonwealth, you walk into mine. Um. What? What is this? A traveling bar? I have a lot of friends. I make new friends wherever I go. My friends like to join me for a drink. What can I say? It's a living. So far, wandering life suits me. I see the world, and my friends always know I'll be coming to visit soon. So, can I get you anything? Uh, sure. Sure. Let me see what you got. My selection is a bit limited right now, but take a look. This guy just walks around with beer? Alright, thanks, man. I'll take the Want beer. Do this again soon. Yeah. <clears throat> Hi, how are you? I like your mustache. Hey. Yeah? I like your head. Alright, you guys are welcome inside of my amusement park. My amusement park. I just took it from this family. <laughs> Alright, let's click these buttons. Staff announcement. Uh, opening alert. This is a staff announcement. The park is due to open in 15 minutes. Please remember to greet our visitors with a smile. Both you and they will have a fantastic day. Nice. All right. This one? Okay, closing. This is a visitor announcement. The park has now closed. Please make your way to the nearest exit. Have a safe journey home. And thank you for visiting Westing Park. Okay. This is a visitor announcement. For your security, please keep personal belongings on your person at all times. Thank you and have a most excellent adventure at Westing Park. Thank you for visiting Westing Park. Have you written Scraptastic? Sit yourself down in a scrap car and spin yourself into a frenzy. <laughs> what about our brand new ride? The Nuka Pocket Rocket. You'll bump and the you'll Nuka grind Pocket as you vibrate Rocket. around the center of gravity. Or perhaps you want to relax as you take in the sights and heights riding above the Commonwealth on the ever popular Ferris Bueller wheel. Ferris and don't forget <laughs> Buttercup to the Future, the ride. Tame and ride the finest stallion in the west and when you reach 8.8 .8 miles per hour you're going to see some serious shit <laughs> rider experience may vary minimum height restrictions apply to all rides westing park staff cannot be held responsible for theft injury or accidents <laughs> oh man this mod is fucking great oh shit oh man alright sweet oh we got more cages over here uh, uh, I'm 
pretty sure this one got out of a cage. Meet Yolanda, the big, grizzly, cuddly, Yaogui. Oh, Did wait. you know this species originated from the American black bear? It's out Don't of its cage. Don't put your head too close. She may think it's free food. That's not a Yaogui. Who are you? Who are you? I think you're not supposed to be here. I think you're supposed to be Yaogui dinner. You want to get back in the cage? You want to get back in the cage? You go back in the cage, beasts! Oh no, it was a pet. No, it had a name. They named it. No, I killed the fucking deer. Don't worry, we'll get something new. <gasps> what? We got a dancing synth? Nice. Meet any. A generation one. Sink. Parents, don't worry. She is reprogrammed with safer subroutines, like dancing. If you're lucky, she may even dance the Boston for you. Dance the Boston? Is she gonna dance the Boston? Ooh. 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 Kill it. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, okay. 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 Okay, she's done. <laughs> She's like, stop staring at me, you fucking creep. Off oh, you wanna ride the Ferris wheel with me? This is my favorite Ferris wheel. Alright, so can we ride the other rides? I'm sorry, I trapped your daughter in there. She was making a lot of noise. I'm so sorry. Now is the time to click the buttons. Yeah, we want it. Come on, come on, there we go. Yeah. Oh. Come on, come on. There we go. R4, I'm doing it. I'm doing it, R4. Oh, shit. <laughs> awesome. So, I don't. I wonder if these silent things are supposed to turn off the music. Because what it does, it's, it's turning the right. Alright, so I completely missed this. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the Westing's house. And, uh, yeah, let's head inside. Okay. Got a little toolbox. You got a combat rifle. How'd you fit that in there? I'm gonna take your money. <laughs> uh, Eleanor's Logs. Oh, shit. We have a lot of logs. It was a dangerous trek, but I made it out of my great-great-grandfather's estate. The place is flooded and ruined. This old house isn't up for repair. I, I met a squatter called Bob. He's keen to help rebuild this place with me. Might be just the busybody I need around now. Fuck, that hurt. <laughs> that hurt. I don't think I'm going to read all of these. There is a lot, and this isn't really like a quest playthrough. We're kind of just looking around. We got a nice little refrigerator. Let's go up here. The moment he stepped into the attic, he found a dead body. We got baseball bats. Pre-war note. Coach, the vault is nearing completion. Rest assured, I've checked and checked again. Your name is definitely on the list, but only yours. Much to my disdain, there has not been any movement on which we discuss, so I'm looking for alternatives for your immediate family in the meantime. The vault tech have not backtracked on any of these uh, manipulations at present, so I should still be possible to get their names and other vaults before long. Thank you for the recent payment of friend. Okay. Batgirl, what are you doing, Batgirl? Got a lot of baseballs here. Fridge. Fuse box. Can we build in here too? What? Oh, that's... That's pretty good. <laughs> cool. Okay. 
Okay. So you can build in the attic as well. Damn, just fucking taking this entire family's house. And finally, we have Orphans of the Commonwealth, More Children by Sadly Amused. And this is going to make it so that children settlers can spawn inside of your settlements. There's going to be nine girl variants and nine boy variants. So a child settler can come into your settlement just like any other settler would. You just turn on the radio beacon and they show up. And uh, I'm pretty sure there is a 10% chance of them showing up, like instead of a regular adult settler. Hello? I just you, need to trade gear with at? you. You looking at me, freckle face? Oh, <laughs> you got a weird smile. <laughs> Oh, you got a sweet roll. And a pit boy. Where the fuck did you get a pit boy? Taking that and your sweet roll, little girl. You don't get any of that. <laughs> but I am pretty sure there is nine variants of each gender of child. I haven't seen them all, obviously, but I do know there is some ghoul ones if you're interested in that. In addition to that, a child settler cannot be placed at a guard post or a vendor, but they can be used to like farm, so like if you're into child labor and all that stuff, go right on ahead. And you know what? I haven't tested this out. I wonder if you can kill them. Hey, hey, come here. Come here. Oh, you. not you. You. Okay. All right. You just taking it like a champ, huh? You should have been split in half, kid. Alright, so apparently <laughs> they just don't care and they're like Superman or something. <gasps> Batman versus Superman. Child edition. That's gonna be the end of the video, guys. If you liked it, why don't you hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more Fallout mods in the future, and comment what mods you want to see me play in the future. I'll see you guys in the next video.